Welcome, Welcome back, back to Cruise Brothers React. React. I'm Johnny. I'm Chris. And we're back for Tokyo Ghoul Season 3, Episode 9. This episode is called Ghost. And I'm just so happy to be watching Tokyo Ghoul. What a good show, you know? Be back for some Tokyo Ghoul, man. What a good show. This episode's named Ghost, and that's what I'm about to do if this show don't fucking get better. Because this sh needs to fucking go somewhere. Wait a minute, it's been 30 seconds? Yeah, this shit is trash. God damn, this show sucks mad dick. And I'm so happy that everyone else agrees so I can talk shit about it and not get persecuted. Hey, man. Thank God. <laughs> It's like that. It's like, that it is. sucks dick. It's just like that <laughs> anime is doing a horrible job of fucking telling this story. I'll tell you that. This guy is so annoying, bro. The, the moment he figures out about Kaneki, he comes out of his little coma shit that he's in and he goes crazy and tries to find him. He's so dramatic, bro. He's the only one. He don't, he, they're taking care of him. Like, he's just being a baby. That's all it is. He's not having some special condition. I think that's what it is. He's just being immature. That's Sasaki, nah, man. New name given to him after he lost his memories. So it's facts, bro. He just lost his memories. That ain't a goal anymore, man. That's a goal investigator. Yo. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he can walk? He will make up for lost time? He's talking like he's going to fuck him or something. Yo, will he feel something? He's Kaneki, gonna feel. Kaneki didn't really feel <laughs> Yo, that shit for this that man. trauma he felt for this guy is gonna come back. Oh, Just walk away. <laughs> yeah, they're not supposed to get their identities away. <laughs> exactly. Those are mm. does. He's a ghoul. Remember that. This ain't just normal Kaneki like in the old days where he come with the coffee. Hey, you gotta get high. Mm. Okay, the explanation. Oh, that's why he was here for the mask. Undercover. Go undercover. They're investigators, man. Part of the job. FBI. Open up. Yo, they're going on the Black Ops mission. Oh, All right, man. that's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Finally getting better. He always be asking personal questions when measuring. <laughs> he he has to learn what type of person they are to make yeah. the mask. That's why he I remember. Yeah, questions. that's that's the. Uh, Called Kaneki back in the day. <laughs> yeah, word. That's what I I'm mean, saying. It's very obvious that he is a ghoul. Bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. Kaneki just like accepted the fact that he said, I tattoo my. I, I mean, run I'm a pretty background sure, I'm check, bro. I'm pretty sure that he has a hunch. He just doesn't want to expose him because. Yeah. He like. It wants to mask. Yeah. Him. And, and obviously he's he's going undercover as a ghoul, so he wants to fucking keep up appearances. Yeah, y'all want to kill ghouls, but you want their services also. I'm not even sure he realizes they're from the CCG. Bro, he knows. He knows that's kind of. He key. knows, but he had, they haven't formally told him that, obviously. He's afraid that he might flip going to the ghouls, bro. <laughs> Find out that the CCG really is the enemy or weirdo. the bad person. So this is going to be the high-ranking investigator who doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He thinks this is a good idea. That's what he's scared of. His ghoul side, like, yeah. erupting while he's over there. He's afraid of Kaneki taking over, which, quote-unquote, is his ghoul side if he turns into or pretends to be a ghoul. That is a risky for him to do, bro, because Kaneki might take over, no cap. Once he starts embracing his ghoul side, he's like an obsessive girlfriend, yo. What about to talk about squash? <laughs> Can we tell your ass get squashed? Damn. You see how they blurred it on the back? I thought that was his dick. <laughs> oh, that's his tongue, man. Yo, they're gonna cut his dick off, bro. Yeah, why you always gotta go to his dick? There's other Well, because things. it's censored. Fucking, you don't need your pinky toe. Maybe he's talking about his pinky toe. You don't need your dick either. Yeah, you do. You can live without a dick. Damn, he about to get fucking suspended for this shit. He doing some wild shit. So always people crazy in the CCG. You know how it goes. He's starting to feel some humanity. Oh, okay. That's confirmation for me for understanding what he's thinking he feels guilty <laughs> 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 
He's having a hard time accepting just using the Quinquay. He's judging him by his character of Kaneki, not Sasaki, man. I don't know if this plan's gonna work. <laughs> That's funny as hell. He's thinking the Kaneki's in a jail. Well, right he now. is feeling sympathy for that other, the, the one girl that uh, this Kijima guy's fucking torturing. This man is trying to save Kaneki Kan inside of uh, Sasaki. <laughs> Even his voice is fucking goofy. Fuck, I act like they had a relationship together. <laughs> he didn't even like your ass. <laughs> Alright, this is just getting creepy, man. I feel like I'm watching this a thriller. I feel like I'm watching the gag that never ends, bro. <laughs> like this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> With three seasons in, this motherfucker's still doing this shit. <laughs> Look, bro, he's thinking about everyone. He's not just thinking about Kaneki. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, they know that he's Kaneki, but they're not thinking crazy like this motherfucker trying to bring him back. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just like I remember in season two, I, I had a feeling that he felt a little more about this situation than he was showing. Oh, shit. The Fuck you bait. wanted to follow him? Yeah, it's bait. That shit was mad obvious, and these two put fucking fell for that shit immediately. Idiots. Yo, he's trying to test out his ability. This ain't the people to test shit on. <laughs> this is a real fight. Someone's gonna die. Yeah, this is the only way to test it, bro, against the ghouls themselves. Oh, they got a photo of somebody. Of the people they need to get. He was in the photo, just cut off. <laughs> who hired them? Who is There's that? There's five doves, not four. Look, so who's that? Oh, mm. of course. Damn. <laughs> You're gonna have to fucking get a refund, my boy, because they're gonna die. A creepy oh, ass no, not the taxi guy. Bro, this show has only room for one obsessive freak. Why did it have to add another one? Hmm. And he's dead. Damn, he just straight up did him, right? <laughs> Oh my god. Stick me. Yo, Yo I'm about to stuff. drop this shit, bro. Yo, it's this shit. What is these obsessive characters? Fuck, I talk about stick me. <laughs> Yo, he just threw his ass off the fucking building. Uh, uh. <laughs> that looked like a game, the way he fell off. <laughs> Yo, word. <laughs> looked like some GTA 5 shit. Yo, pull he's that scary ass shit out. He is. You better hurry up and pull that nutcracker out, man. This ain't the time to fucking be. Oh my god. He can't pull that thing out without vomiting. Damn, bro. He just told him straight up, you ain't no captain material. Dang. He just choked on the battlefield, man. <laughs> yeah, this guy, <laughs> he took some steroids last time you saw him. He don't stop, man. Oh, he got stronger. Yeah, bro. Remember he went and got that upgrade? He was in the gym, too. <laughs> All he does is train. I, I would assume he's getting better. That's all no, he talks it, about. It was about him testing with the his abilities after he got that upgrade. Which upgrade? It was when he got upgrade. I don't remember the 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 power level shit that they talked about, but he got upgraded. Oh, the frames. Yeah. Yeah, man, this man is beasting to test out of his ability. Okay. He's beasting to take the glory from everyone. I oh, no, got jumping. this guy that he can't even use his fucking Quimpe. Yukaku? That was a Yukaku, a Bukaku, I'm, a Yukaku. I'm telling you, bro, they keep bringing new names out, bro. I think that's only something they know because I've never heard of that shit. That shit, that shit, I, all right, this show's annoying with that, that shit, bro. They literally be bringing, I mean, they've done that before with other things like the Kakuja and Kagune and all these other things. But at this point, they're giving us way too many names. Oh, somebody save this girl. She needs to save herself, man. She needs to start fighting. Yeah, she needs to snap out of it. Yeah, I don't want to fuck with Kaneki, man. He has some innate power in him. People keep just jumping off the buildings. What was he so surprised about? The fact that he was controlling it? He probably said, yo, did he level up again? How the fuck am I supposed to catch up to this guy? It's not pretty. What the fuck does that mean? 
Nobody fucking looks where this girl is, man. Is that, uh... Who the fuck? Nishki? Nah, who the fuck? That was a ghoul. Whoever that was, was a ghoul, bro. This guy looks familiar. You don't know him, bro. No, Nishki. You, haven't, you didn't see his face, though. How do you know he was a ghoul? I don't know. I was just fucking... <laughs> I'm, the, the fact that he punched the shit out of that other thing, I'm assuming that motherfucker's a ghoul. He ain't no fucking human. A bunch of vague scenes that don't tell us what. All right. Another. Another one. Another head, a scratcher. But, you know, I do like uh, the, a little bit of where the, the direction of the story was going with the fact that, you know, Kaneki wanted to. Not Kaneki, Sasaki wanted to go undercover in the ghouls. I don't know if that's even going to happen or not yet, but the fact that they brought that up was interesting because, I mean, obviously it has to happen if they brought it up in the first place, right? But for what's going on right now, I guess they're getting attacked by the actual Awogiri tree. Well, it was first, it was the Rose guy who hired some people to basically try to kill them. And yeah, he needed to get a refund because that shit did not work. And then, uh, Awagiri Tree. Did Awagiri Tree get involved in shit? I don't even know. It was just so weird. There was so many people like fighting out of nowhere. It started with an ambush. Well, I know then, that they got baited. Somebody got baited into this. Yeah, it was the so. Rose guy, the guy from Rose, the kid who's always serving Master Shu, who baited them into this parking lot, and he hired some some goons to try to kill him. It was it was actually hilarious when we saw the taxi guy. Because putting him side by side in the same episode as Shu just made it much more apparent that we have two of the same archetypes of characters who are obsessing over yeah, a certain person. As well, you know, it's sure. like, you know, before it was just a taxi guy because we didn't even know what was happening with Shu. But now it's like, okay, this is a little too much. I'll give this one like a 3.5. Give it a 3.3. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Plus, short Patreon if you're watching this on YouTube for early full length the Tokyo Ghoul reactions. And if you're watching this on Patreon, shout out to y'all because you are supporting financially the channel. Uh, and it's how we put out reactions every single day because of y'all. So, we'll see you for the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves as always, and peace.